Hey guys, this is Brittany, aka Breezy, aka Bree, aka Just Me. And uh, for this healthy conversation, I'm going to be touching on the topic of weight problems. Now, to all my folks out there struggling with weight problems, you are not alone. Um, hang in there and just know that I know the struggle personally. Um, so I'm just going to give you guys three key tips on um, the best way to overcome this plight. Now, um, tip number one, you wanna remain consistent in your health journey. You know, no matter what you do, you know, if you feel like giving up, if you feel like, just don't, don't stop, don't give up. And even if you have to, um, what I found that helps for me after a lot of trial and error, um, what I try to do at first is keep everything, um, do everything in the same order. Um, like, for instance, I'm drinking uh, lemon water. But what I found is um, sometimes your body is just not ready to have it at the same time every day. So just as long as you get it in, like if you can't do it in the morning, maybe do it in the afternoon, maybe do it in the evening. But at least that way, you know that you got your intake for the day, for the day. Um, so the same with, you know, fruits or vegetables or, you know. Try to switch it up if you need to. You know, you definitely um, want to keep it interesting. You want to keep it fun. You want to keep it new and fresh. So um, I know in the past, like with my eating routines, I've tried to, you know, just eat the same thing over and over again. But that gets a really dull and monotonous. So you definitely want to switch it up. You know, I've bought some cookbooks. So I'm going to be trying out new recipes, you know, new ingredients and things that I've never had before, which is definitely going to keep it fun and interesting for me personally. So try that if you haven't already, guys. Um, and tip number two is very crucial. Um, you always want to keep yourself surrounded by motivation at all times. Motivation, motivation, motivation. What's helped me in the past is, you know, watching YouTube videos, seeing other people in their journeys, um, reading, um, having a lot of, you know, good, you know, meditation music, um, inspirational music, and um, inspirational and motivational and positive people around you. Um, if there are people or things that are distracting you or deterring you, remove it or remove them out of your life. Your life depends on it. Your health depends on it. Um, they may not understand in the beginning, but at the end of the day, it's about you. Um, tip number three, ditch the sweats. Um, I've personally have been guilty of this a lot of times in the past um, when I've started to gain weight or when I got to an uncomfortable weight, I just figured, okay, well, let me just put on these baggy clothes, these sweats, but that kind of makes you complacent and it almost, it, it almost gives you a pass to try to fill out those clothes. Um, so I, I definitely wouldn't recommend sweats, but I also wouldn't recommend wearing anything too tight, you know, or uncomfortable because the key is, you know, you want to buy some nice clothes that complement, you know, your voluptuous or your heavier figure. And, you know, you want to feel good about yourself and the way you look. So it's definitely going to help. Um, and what I do, because my weight fluctuates a lot, so what I do is I keep my clothes. So whether I lose weight, whether I gain weight, I keep my clothes. So even if I have like teenier clothes that I can't really fit right now, I hold on to them because I know myself and I know the way that I fluctuate. And not only that, I know that um, some things don't always stay the same and that includes your weight. So I can very well, you know, lose weight or gain weight next month. So it saves you money, it saves you time, it saves you headache and heartache if you just hold on to some of those things. Even, I understand some of you, you know, um, you may want to get rid of it, you know, to donate to someone, you know, less fortunate. So I recommend at least maybe keep maybe five or seven outfits, enough for a week. So if you need to, I mean, what I do a lot of times, like if I'm in a certain weight, you know, I don't want to buy too many clothes for that weight because I don't want to get complacent and I don't want to get too comfortable. So maybe like a week or two worth of a wardrobe or clothes. So that way, you know, you can do a nice little rotation while you're going through your struggle, while you're going through, you know, the process of losing weight and getting in shape. Um, and I hope that this helps. Um, I hope that those who need it most reach this video. Um, I would definitely like to hear what you guys have to say down below. Comment, subscribe, rate. I'm curious about, you know, your guys' journey. Um, if you guys have any additional tips for me or for anyone else who may be watching this. Um, you can also find links down below in the description um, 
for my other YouTube channels as well as my other social media. Until next time, guys, peace.